Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is an unboxing and kind of a quick look of a, a Lutz jersey purchase. So as you can see, I'm a huge fan of hockey jerseys and I've always thought that Lutz jerseys were pretty awesome in terms of the designs of KHL jerseys and this is a KHL jersey as well. Um, and I always, like I said, I always really like the design, the Sochi one, I love the use of colors. And I thought they were pretty interesting. They tried things that NHL teams didn't. As well as I heard the quality was very good, especially for the price compared to like what any, the NHL teams were charging for their full price jerseys. So again, it was something I wanted to grab and check for, see for myself um, to kind of add to the collection. The Korea jersey is a little different because it's not uh, like a, 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 obviously a KHL jersey. So I went to Denmark, as I've mentioned in previous videos, for the World Hockey Championships. And I watched Korea play and score their first goal when I was there. So I wanted to kind of remember that by buying a Korea jersey. But they didn't really have ones that were any good at in Denmark to actually buy. Because at the tournaments they have really poor quality fan jerseys. Um, so I wanted one that actually looked like what the team wore. So I went with this. Uh, so I'll get to that. Actually, we're here. So let's just start with it. So I wanted, yeah, I wanted a jersey that looked pretty close to what the team wore. It's also a reason why I have a lot of uh, Olympic jerseys and ones I've done like custom because I want that style. Nike doesn't really sell them that often. Um, one of my Latvia jerseys one is like a perfect example of how Nike could do it and should do it, but they rarely do. So I, I grabbed this in hopes of getting something really close to that jersey that they wore. Um, honestly, I'm pretty disappointed in it. it. The colors aren't even close to what they should have been. Um, like it's way brighter than it should have been. The actual cut of the jersey is much wider than it should have been too. Like right here, uh, like this should have been like a panel across and when you wear it, this comes down far too low. It's kind of like the World Junior jerseys. and It doesn't really match the cut either. Um, on the website for this, it did match the cut that I was expecting and not this style. Um, as well, this material is just a normal sublimated material. I wish it was made out of this. I knew that going into it though. But I was really hoping that the jersey would look and match more of how the actual jersey was. Um, they did do the like the fading of sublimation here, which does look pretty good, I will say. But it just doesn't look like that great of a jersey. It doesn't really match the Korea team as much as I wanted. So I'm pretty disappointed in that. Um, with that said, I'm still going to be on the lookout for the actual Nike one. So I might grab one of those if I can, just to kind of commemorate that. Uh, visit to Denmark. So anyways, moving on. So this is an HC Sochi jersey. And this is, I believe, the second jersey they ever wore. They wore uh, a kind of a different style at the very beginning until they got kind of this jersey and they kind of went with this. Um, I've always been a really big fan of this jersey because of uh, one, I thought the logo was awesome and the colors were fantastic as well. And I also thought the existence of Sochi, the team, was kind of interesting since they were basically formed because they built an arena there for the Olympics and then they put a KHL team there. So I thought that was always kind of interesting. Um, I really like the details on the arms. I love when jerseys have, like, same with Columbus, where it goes all the way down the arms, but it's different colors. So you can see, like, the, the navy, almost like purpley with the white at the bottom. A huge fan of that look on teams. So I like that, but also I really like the different colors on the sleeves with the different stripe patterns as you can see not many teams will go with pink so again really a fan of how different that is and I really I like actual sponsorships I think they're kind of interesting and they they really don't look like they should be there like this green one doesn't fit at all but I, I kind of just like having extra details on jerseys like that um, I think it's these are cool kind of interesting sublimated patches with a different style of stitching compared to other things on it so I always find little nuances like that to, with those type of jerseys are pretty interesting um, the material on these jerseys is pretty awesome. It's a bit thinner than NHL jerseys, but it's much lighter. So when you wear it, even like this is a, a Reebok jersey and it feels much lighter to wear or heavier to wear than this does. So I kind of feel like this would actually be better to play with. I'm not sure about durability, but I'm not going to wear these when playing hockey. These are kind of my collector things. Um, there's some other kind of interesting things is you have a bunch of different materials here with the Dazzle Silk, which has been seen in NHL jerseys for specific colors. But then you have like big patches like these, which is totally sublimated on. But when you look at the back, it's kind of how they stitch it is kind of interesting because it's not a patch. 
Um, it's not like how NHL stitches patches where they have a crest that's all done and they stitch it on. This one, as you can see how like the material behind it kind of folds in with it. So it's a different style of sewing. I think it's cheaper. Um, I'll show you on the inside of how this looks. Um, actually, you can kind of show it off. So same with this giant Gazprom advertisement. So it's not just like, it's a patch sewn on or a big, like, I guess, uh, can't remember what they're called right now. It's, but it's like it's a number of material. It's twill, like the twill sewn on, and you can see the leftover from behind. You'll see this a lot on Chinese jerseys. I think it's a cheaper version of stitching things on, um, but it does at make the jersey act kind of different because when you wear a jersey like this and you look on the inside of the crest, you can see how it's like, you can't really see the stitching, which is very, very small amounts of stitching. It's not something huge like this. And it kind of feels like it's not a piece of jersey where when you do this, We'll go to the crest like here as you can see all the details it really feels like the jersey is like it kind of gets the crest gets softer because it moves with the jersey a lot but you can see all this material on the back of all of it um, i knew that going into the into buying these it's just how much does it compared to the nhl does it some people prefer one the other i prefer kind of the nhl to be completely honest but i'm a huge fan of this jersey and these jerseys regardless so we'll just flip it over the back so i picked this player in all honesty, because their name was huge, and I thought, and I like number 67. Um, I often pick numbers that I think look really good. Um, like my personal favorite is like 27, just because it fills up a lot of space and it's very diff two very different numbers: 37, 47, 57. All those kind of fill up a lot, but they also look pretty unique, and it's not just like a 22, just two numbers next to each other. Um, so that's why I went with this route. As you can see, you have more advertising on the back. You have this pretty big name. And you have the assistant on the front as well. Again, huge fan of this jersey so far. I haven't really, like I've, I've been kind of staring at it since I got it. And I like the detailings on the, like bought the hem as well. So that's the first one, which is the Sochi jersey. And next we are going to the Lada jersey. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the actual team name because I can't. Um, this team, the re one of the reasons I bought this jersey is because this team doesn't exist in the KHL anymore. They got kind of relegated to the uh, division below because of their arena or from what I hear because of their arena with that said when I saw this jersey I was a huge fan of it I like like bright accents on jerseys and the gray with the the orange really stood out to me and I thought it looked really good which is why I ended up going with this um, as well I thought their home in a way this was the alternate looked great as well but I was a bigger fan of the gray so I wanted to again get one of these so this jersey is pretty interesting because, and let's just a ton of different ways on how they do like a crest and everything like that. Like each I find like each different version, the numbers are done differently than the look, the main crest, and then you have these ones which are sublimated patches. Then you have this one which is a sublimated patch, but it's stitched really thick to give it the blue kind of extra on the side. So all this is really interesting to me, and I, since I love jerseys so much. Um, but again, so this jersey I really wanted it because it had. It was last year, so you had the, uh, the 10th anniversary patch for the KHL. You have like the MasterCard advertisement. You have like this really awesome detailing, I feel, all over the jersey. And then when you flip it over, you have some of the best looking numbers I think I've ever seen. Um, and again, these are interesting where this is all stitched on and then right here is a sublimated kind of patch in the middle. But I love the bright orange numbers. I think they look really, really good. Um, I also love the rubberized Lutch logo here, which is also very interesting and a kind of interest, nice touch. Um, but everything about this jersey, I was a huge fan of the moment I saw it. So I was kind of really wanting to get one of these, and I did. And they had a 30% off sale, so that's kind of what made me purchase all of these. Um, but with that said, I'm very happy with uh, the authentic ones. And they are like slightly different quality compared to the NHL. I'd say they're a little bit lower. But they're pretty awesome and I'm a huge fan of them. So I suggest you check them out if you're interested in that sort of thing. There's a few more I want, but that'll happen probably way in the future. Um, but anyways, so that's it for this video. It was a little longer winded. Uh, not a total review, but kind of just uh, going over these jerseys. I will think I'll review them more in the future and just talk about it a little bit more. Um, but anyways, just got these. Really excited about it. And thank you very much for watching. Uh, and remember, I hate to do this, but subscribe to me on Instagram. Or sorry, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description. Uh, it just helps me get some stuff so I can do reviews on and talk about more gear. All right, thank you very much. Take care.